Oh, as you just heard, it is the first day of Portland's very popular foodie festival, Feast. You get the chance to try delicious food by top-rated chefs, and there are still some tickets for some of them. We were talking a couple days ago how probably a lot of you are like me, maybe you procrastinate, you forget to buy the tickets, and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's Feast, tickets are gone. No, there are still some for this event, Big Feast in Little China. We have Patrick from Bokey Bowl here to show what they'll be serving, and this event uh, it's one of the, what are they, the fun size events, right? Fun size event. It's a new uh, concept that they have. They have three or four, which are obviously very fun. That's so fun. When is this one? This one's tomorrow night. Okay. At the North Warehouse. And there are still a few tickets left, and it's kind of a Chinese theme. A lot of different chefs from actually all the West Coast, all as far as from Chicago, are doing interesting dishes. Wow, that's so cool. So you get a lot of different spots of the country, things that you wouldn't get to try. Normally, is this something that's normally on your guys' menu or is it a new thing? We have, we do kind of a rendition, but yeah, this is a, a sticky rice with spicy pork and crawfish. Whoa. I threw a little crawfish in there because I'm from New Orleans. It's kind of a Chinese American dish that I was inspired living down there when I grew up. And so we have this at our West Side location on Dim Sum on the weekends. That's so cool. It looks amazing. It looks fun to make, probably even more fun to eat. Do you guys make these for people or do people get to like no, themselves. we found that we try to separate the food handling with the yeah. customers for pretty obvious reasons. Could get a little messy. <laughs> so where yeah. do we start? All right, so we have our sticky rice. I'll give you a little demo. Oh, they're in like a patty. Yeah, That's and cool. so I, I keep a little one ounce, little part of it over here um, oh. to top it. And we're going to make like a little spicy pork crawfish sandwich Sweet. on our lotus leaves. And these leaves have been soaked. They're very kind of aromatic. Um, Where do they come from? These are from China. Wow. You know, the lotus plant is a very popular plant, and a lot of the roots or the tubers used uh -huh. um, for different things, a lot of medicinal. So it has a very tea like um, taste, and you can probably smell it a little bit. It's very mm -hmm. aromatic. But I usually put a few ounces of the, this is a spicy Sichuan black bean pork, and then we'll put a little crawfish in there, and then I kind of top oh. it up. It is like you said, yeah, you said sandwich, but I was yeah. thinking the whole thing was a sandwich. And then That's you just so kind huge. of fold it over, kind of like a tamale as well. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of cultures use, you know, ban banana leaves or different sort of uh, things that they have indigenous to their culture that then they can cook with or they can travel with wow. this as well. That's and then so we'll perfect. We put that in and then we steam it for 10 or 12 minutes. Okay, should I try to make one? I would like to see. Is it. this the way it, yeah, it's like this could go badly. So we've got one of our... Rice patties. We gonna, we're going to put it, where are we? Perfect. Like there. Yep. We take a little piece so we can make the top of our sandwich like Sounds that much. Good. A scoop of, like how I'm attempting to give the instructions too, like that much. It's perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh. I like how once you got this on your plate, you wouldn't know what the inside looked like, right? Yeah. You'll see when it steams. I'm going to yeah throw a few oh crawfish gosh. on there yeah. if you don't have a shellfish allergy. Nope. Nope. They're nice. so cute. Then. Top it off, set it? Yeah. yeah, and then fold oh, it gosh. like a little. Oh gosh. Two sides over, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. We've got a couple taste testers over to the side <laughs> that are watching very closely. You, you guys wanna come over and uh, see, whose do you want? I mean, I made there one, Patrick made one, but these would be steamed, right? Yeah, so we so steam these. So are these the ones these that they taste? These are finished, see, okay. voila. Oh, Just oh, like you don't even have to eat the room. one that you I touch. Now, <laughs> and you were talking about customers and food, they're very funny, so a lot of times yes. they get a re aggressive and they wanna eat this, the lotus, you, the lotus leaf is not really Oh, you edible. don't eat the lotus leaf. Yeah, okay. so just use your spoon. And then you see how it kind of gets caramelized after you steam it a little bit. And we finish it with little green onions and some crispy shallots. Wow, beautiful. It smells beautiful. like it's got a little bit of heat to it. Too. Yeah, it, it has, you know, lots of chili. And then we make a homemade chili oil, too. But you guys can dive in there. I mean, yeah. Nice how, Nate, nice we know that you are not a spicy oh, food it's, fan. I wouldn't say it's... Um, I would say it's well seasoned, okay. not really spicy. What about you, Tom Tuttle? Is this being served at feast? Yeah, so <laughs> I will serve this. Did tonight. I listen to the first no, half of the second? Did kidding. you just come <laughs> out from somewhere else? <laughs> like we're at, we're right, it was like we're there. Yeah, yes. you don't even need to go. No. It's like you just close your eyes and Im oh imagine. It's called, what was it called? Little Feast? Uh, Big Feast in Little Big China. Big Feast in Little, Little China. Little China, mm, happening yes. tomorrow, the 14th from 6 to 8.30. Good? It was very good. Like Is half it, of mine's already gone. Perfect. Very good. Good, Tuttle. What yes, do you think? Excellent. It's very, very good. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you and very that's much. from Bokey Bowl, and you can have all kinds of things from other chefs at Big Feast in Little China at the North Warehouse tomorrow night. All kinds mm -hmm. of delicious things. Well, we.